Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, hang on a second. In the interests of safety, please save your applause for when Wesley is back on the ladder. Thank you. Do not try this at home.
Nice nice. That is really nice. showbiz. That's nice. That's kind of fast, that like, isn't it? This is serious. Like it. it just looks like it could end really badly. I've had one of those thrown at me before. Did, did yes, you? I remember that. I'm tempted. Well, no. Simon! Don't you get up and have knives thrown at you? Why? I mean, we're all for this. I know pain, I know dread. Say, you know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, David and, and you. You guys have gone absolutely crazy. Where do you want me? Come on. Both of us? Yeah. Back to back. Good luck! Is it better to look or not to look?
Let's do it. Doesn't take much to encourage me. No. Bite my head, like this. Like this. Oh. Oh, it's just going to win who? David, your flies are undone. That's high, because David's tall. Oh, David. This could go horribly wrong for David. Underwater escape act. I will be locked up inside, uh, chained handcuffs and padlocks. Wow. I will be attempting to unpick these padlocks, but first it will be up to you to select the correct key that opens the padlock on the outside of the box. So you'll be responsible if I survive or not. Oh. Wow. How dangerous is this? Houdini's record was 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And at that time, it is a possibility of dying, yeah. OK, I am not encouraging you to do it. <laughs> but I'm really excited. Good luck. Thank you. I got a padlock and five keys. Only one of these will open the lock. I'm gonna need one key each. David, you should just try it in the padlock. It does not open? No. No, please leave the key in there and pass the padlock to Alicia. Nada. No. Amanda. No. no. One last key. It does work. It does work. Good. Leave it open and leave the key, the key in the glass. In the glass. So only one of those five keys will open the padlock. David, bring the padlock with you up on stage. And here's some lock picks. We'll get back to them later on. We are going to lock Christian inside. He's locked in with chains around his belly, handcuffs around his wrists, chains around his neck. Everything locked down to the bottom of the tank. His life is in your hands. There we go. Start the timer. Get the padlock over here, David. Solid on. Good. Good. Perfect. Yeah, you can go back down. You can go back down. Christian is locked in. And now it's down to you guys to find the correct key. Only then will we give Christian the lock picks to free himself. Take the glass. Take one key out. Oh, I don't like this time. I don't like this. He's breaking the keys. Simon. Does the guy in the box know he's doing this? Uh, this is crazy. Alicia. Two keys left, David. What, that one? Yeah. There's one key left. David, come on, bring it on stage. Quick, 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 quick. Fast as I can. We are almost two minutes. Yes! Yes, it's open! Hey! Oh, the, the, the lockpicks, the lockpicks, grab the lockpicks, please. Two 
two and a half minutes. Four locks to pick. I don't think I'd like to rely on hands. No, he's a bit forgetful, isn't he? Three minutes. This has been there for three minutes in the watch, is Oh my God. Three and a half minutes. Oh God. If you go over four minutes, we're in a very bad place. Right, this is danger time now. One dog left. You're shaking it there. Oh, God, I feel This is hard to watch. Four minutes. Look at his legs. No, he can't get it off. Home. He can't get it off his shape. Home. Guys. Guys. Get him out. No, get him out. Come on. How are you feeling? Unchained. I want to show you some very special skills that I learned in my previous job. Oh, I like it. It is dangerous. Oh. It is dangerous. Oh. In my hand, I've got some tags. And they're numbered one to six. And I give these a mix up. And Simon, I want you to select one tag. Try not to let anyone else see the number you choose. Did I look at it? Have a look at it. Yeah. And this is razor sharp commando dagger. I want you to place this dagger underneath one of the bags on the table that corresponds to the number you've just selected. Done. Now I'm going to try and guess the number you've selected by using the skills I learned in my previous job. Simon, I'm going to count down through the number six to one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I know it's a flicker on one particular number, and I know now it wasn't number one. Oh, oh. I also know it wasn't two or four. And it wasn't number six. There were two numbers left. Number three and number five. Simon, look at me. Number three, number five. Three, five. Simon, the number you chose was number five. Now, let me tell you about my previous life. I served in the military for 14 years, for the last 10 years as a Royal Marines commando. A job which required me to routinely risk my life without fear. 
Ultimately, my time as a Marine taught me to trust my instincts, have courage in the face of danger, and to hold it together when lives are on the line. It is those skills that I'm going to be demonstrating tonight. Having this sort of intuition, this sixth sense, has helped me in the past, and I'm hoping Eamon will help me with tonight. There were five plungers in front of the judges. They're connected to these five boxes on stage. Cables come out the plungers, and they're all mixed up so that nobody knows, not even me, which plunger is connected to which box. However, one plunger and one box are quite clearly connected. Simon, can you come forwards, please, and push down plunger number five? Give the handle a little bit of a twist and push that plunger down. Jeez! Oh my God! There is an explosive device in each one of these four boxes on stage. Nobody warned us about this! Simon, please point to one of these four boxes. Whichever box you select is the box I will use. This one here. This intuition is a test of bravery and some would say pure craziness. Simon, you're gonna make a series of choices and I believe this is one of your better ones. Please choose a number between one and four. Two. Can you come forwards and push down plunger number two? Loud, that day. It's loud! Please choose another number. One, three, or four. Push it down. Wait, this is probably the best place for us to stand and watch this. Simon, please name one of the remaining two plungers, but only push it down when I give you the thumbs up. Three or four. What are you going to go for? Three. Three. We are now 50-50 from potential disaster. Simon, my intuition is telling me something. Simon, there are some people that may think this explosive isn't real. Can you please push down the final plunger? I am the Magic Marine. Thank you and good night. I'd like to start with something that fuses magic with a bit of drama. And it's for you, Amanda. I'd like you to tell me what it is you think that I'm making for you here at my fingertips, just like this. Oh, yes, it is a bouquet of flowers. Science. Now, I think we all agree that magic can be really beautiful, but my other passion in life is physics. I was a scientist for many years, and tonight I want to show you how magic and science, science in particular, can be just as beautiful as magic and also as dangerous. This is my very favorite science desk toy. It's called a harmonic pendulum. The first one was built 150 years ago by physicist Ernst Mach. Now, I realized by observing the patterns over and over again that they seemed to repeat. They were exactly the same every single time. In theory, an object could travel from one side of the pendula to the other without being struck. The important phrase there, of course, was in theory. 
Now, the one that you have in front of you is a rather innocuous desk size version. However, the one I have here on stage tonight is a giant industrial size one, which can be deadly. In a moment, these cannonballs will career across the stage, taking out literally anything in their path. When that happens, I will attempt to walk through them without being struck. I mean, what an amazing invention. Now, Simon, we know that you love a bit of drama. So tonight, we will be setting these cannonballs on fire. OK. Oh! And McPartlin, can I ask you to join I'm me on stage, please? Yes, OK. Hold your two hands out like this way, if you don't mind. Yes. And brace yourself. Here is one I made earlier. I just want you just to get ready. You ready? It's quite heavy. Yeah. Oh, it is heavy. Oh, you've got that. Yeah, got you, it. you take a few steps forward. Hold it directly above the watermelon. Lovely. Yep. I'm going to count from three to one. I want you to drop it. OK. Are you ready? I'm very ready, yes. OK, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh wow. OK, yeah, I mean, you're laughing, but that could be my head. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> when I do the walkthrough, I will be blindfolded. No! What? Oh, what? I'm going to pop this over your head. OK. So just trust me as I do that. The reason I am doing that is to make sure that you cannot see any of the gestures that I am now making in front of your face right now. No flinching whatsoever. I'm going to take that off. You're going to get a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Anne McPartland. Well done. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, I need complete faith in science. To make this work. Just let me know when they're lit. He's crazy. That's not right, is it? That's not right, is it? Is that right? Is that right? Is he gonna run? 